What's going on, everyone? Happy Sunday to everyone. Happy St. Pat. What's going on, everyone? Happy Sunday to everyone. Hopefully, everyone is doing well, staying safe, healthy. If you had to take a COVID test, hopefully you have tested negative. If you did test positive, I hope you have a full and speedy recovery with no long COVID issues. It is time now for the St. Patrick's Day Sunday edition of the pandemic update for Sunday, March 17th, 2024. That's right. Happy St. Patrick's Day to everyone who celebrates. If you're new to my channel, this is where we do the pandemic update on all things COVID and any other virus that could be a health threat to you. There's a lot of viruses out there. There's a lot of viruses out there that are causing problems. The biggest one is COVID, which is now causing an alarming rate increase of long COVID because we're coming off the second biggest pandemic wave of the entire pandemic. You want to stay informed about all this? Subscribe to my channel down below. Like what you see? Give it a thumbs up. Want to keep other people informed? By all means, share this with anyone you know. All right, today we're going to start off with a couple news stories, and we're also going to take a look at some data, which means wastewater today. That's right, it's a Sunday, and today we really are dedicating this video to wastewater. Quick note, you may hear some wind behind me. We've been trying to record this for the better part of the last hour to an hour and a half, and the wind has just had its way. Hopefully, we can get through this without complications from the wind. All right, starting off today in Georgia. This is just outside of Atlanta, Georgia area. Locust Grove mayor dies with sudden illness, City Hall says. Time and time again, we keep seeing these sudden and unexpected deaths occurring. Don't know what the cause of this one is, but... This uh, mayor, it says here, the mayor of Locust Grove, a city in Henry County, died on Friday from complications related to a sudden illness. His name was Robert Price. He was 79 years old, first elected mayor in 2012. So he's been mayor there for 12 years. Sounds like he was well liked. Yes, this is not a good thing. Now moving up to Canada and checking out the measles situation, which apparently is getting worse. Canada heading towards major measles outbreak without vaccine boost. New modeling suggests measles vaccination uptake among children is as low as 30% in some places. It says as of Friday, at least 31 cases of measles have been reported so far this year across Canada. Yeah, that is not a good thing. And it really coincides with what we're seeing all around the world. Various different countries are having increases in measles at this time. All right, taking a look at air quality values around the United States. Not too bad today. Just some minor problems in the south. And we do see that there is an increase in the west coast today in California, Oregon, and Washington at this time. All right, taking a look at the latest uh, totals from the Philadelphia Fire Department yesterday for EMS totals, and it says here there were 698 EMS incidents on Saturday, March 16th. That's low. That's below 700. That's a good thing, and based on what I'm seeing, I think today is probably going to come in low as well. Will it be as low? Well, you have to wait till tomorrow and find out. All right. Taking a look now at the EMS incidents in Montgomery County, Pennsylvania. We see multiple cardiac emergencies, three of them, and one respiratory emergency, a head injury, and sickable episode. But there's really not that many calls right now. Checking in with Chester County, we do note that there are one, two, three calls for heart problems, sick person, seizures, emotional disorder, and a bunch of other things mixed in between. So a little bit busier in Chester County than in Montgomery County. Alrighty. Going to take a look now at wastewater data, and we're going to use CDC website and wastewater scan. We're not going to use BioBot today. We showed BioBot yesterday, and quite frankly, BioBot, I'm a little disappointed with them lately. They keep making corrections to their data. I don't know why. Is their data inaccurate? I uh, Honestly, I just do not know. But let's start off here with the CDC site. And we see here, there are several different categories of color shades that could show up on the map, including gray sites, which means sites that are not updating, white sites, they are new sites, although sometimes it's listed white and it's not really actually a new site. I don't know why that happens. There's 46 of them. 0 to 19% COVID detected. That's really low levels. That is at 134. 20 to 39% COVID detected. That is at 411. Slightly higher, but not as high yet. Uh, 40 to 59% COVID detected. That is at 
432 sites still, but it is dropping. We want to see that number drop a heck of a lot more. 60 to 79% COVID detected. That's this orange shade. That is at 244 sites still, down 18%. 80% to 100% COVID detected. This is a really high level of COVID being detected. That is at 41 sites. And that is down by 31%. All right, let's just quickly go through each region on here. Then we will take a look at some sites on the Wastewater Scan website. Starting off with the Northeast, what you don't see a lot of is the orange and red sites. You still do, however, see quite a few sites that are in the lighter shades of blues. Taking a look like, for example, up here in, uh, where is this, New Hampshire, Stratford, New Hampshire, smaller wastewater site, 14,638 population. It is still in the red at this time, but take a look at that on the chart. It's actually starting to drop. Then you make your way further south into New Jersey, Pennsylvania. You do see a few more red and orange sites in New Jersey, like this one, for example, in Burlington County, New Jersey. But look at that. It is starting to drop at this time. And the further south we go, Virginia, North Carolina, there's still some work to be done. Transmission needs to come down quite a bit more because there is still far too many orange and red sites in this area at this time. And down in the southeast, Florida. Florida not doing too bad on this map at this time. And look at this, down in Texas, Houston area, Harris County, things are starting to drop, but there are still some lighter shades of blue and some orange sites popping up at this time. Now let's come up to the Great Lakes, because there's a lot of uh, wastewater sites in the Great Lakes region that we really can take a look at on the Wastewater Scan website. So let's zoom in to Chicago area and see what's going on. And we do see Cook County. This is a huge wastewater site. 1,134,897 population, and we do see it's still in the red, but it is dropping ever so slightly at this time. This is Chicago, so finally it is starting to drop, which is a good thing. Then when we take a look at another wastewater site for Cook County, you can see this one didn't update as uh, frequently. It's a little bit inadequate. It's a little bit outdated data at this time, but you can see here there are still some oranges and light blues in this area. There's also some uh, oranges as well in Michigan still, even a couple red sites, this one, Jackson, Michigan. 90,000 population, it's red, but again, this site does not update all that frequently. Coming over to Ohio now, we can see good news in Ohio. Uh, not as many orange and red sites. There's a lot of light blues, which that's still concerning. But again, not as high as it was, say, just a few weeks ago, where it was much more concerning. Taking a look at Missouri here, you can see in Missouri, this is all for COVID now. Uh, Missouri, levels are starting to drop right now. There's still some orange sites, but for the most part, levels are dropping at this time which is good news look at this green county missouri rapidly dropping and then when we come out to the west coast just quickly going through this because we're going to go through quite a few sites on wastewater scan uh utah still has a couple red sites orange sites and yes a ton of light blue sites at this time and look at california i don't think we're seeing any red sites in california i see three orange sites and then a mixture of all the blues but no red sites in california that is fantastic news. Nevada, you still have two red sites at this time, which means really high levels of COVID. And in the Pacific Northwest, no red sites to be found. There is one orange site in Oregon. Let's take a look at that. Ooh, Lincoln County, Oregon. This one's continuing to go up. If it doesn't change soon, that would turn red. So that is not good to see. All right, let's go over to wastewater scan. Now we can take a look at several different... Uh, viruses here and we're just going to do a couple for each region we're not going to go to every wastewater site on here just do a few for each region and what do you say we come down here to york maine again york maine is not as populated as it would be in the summertime but it's still good to look at and we can see here for COVID, levels have really dropped big time in uh, york maine so that is good to see they're at medium at this time RSV at this time is still high, but the levels are dropping. Influenza, both A and B, are dropping at this time. And norovirus is now rapidly dropping, which is really good to see at this time. Mpox, not much of an issue. And taking a look here at hepatitis A, no issues with that at this time as well. So that is some good news. Now let's come down and take a look 
How about we come near Worcester, Massachusetts, and we see what's going on there. This is actually Millbury, Massachusetts. Apologies, but it is in Worcester County. 250,000 population. COVID still says high, but if we take a look here on the chart, we can see it is dropping at this time. RSV continues to drop as well. Influenza A is rising ever so slightly, and influenza B is rising a bit more at this time. HMPV starting to see a rise for that. Norovirus did drop, but on the most recent update, is starting to rise again. There was a detection of MPOX back on February 22nd. And taking a look here, Hepatitis A. No detections of that since February 25th. All right, let's come much further south now. What do we say we come down and check in on what's going on down in the Washington, D.C. area? That's right, we can do a wastewater site there. Two million population at this wastewater site. And we can see here that COVID levels are medium at this time. They're actually dropping. RSV is dropping. Influenza A is dropping. Influenza B, after having a rise in February, is dropping at this time. Norovirus is dropping ever so slightly at this time. Mpox. Not much of an issue there as well. Just one detection back on February 22nd. And taking a look at hepatitis A, not much of an issue for that either. All right, moving on. Coming down here, let's go down to Georgia, shall we? And let's take a look at what is going on in the Atlanta, Georgia area. And taking a look here, we can see COVID here is medium at this time and has dropped somewhat. RSV is low at this time. Not much of an issue with that. Influenza A is low. And influenza B, while it's still coming up as high, it is dropping at this time. Norovirus is also dropping here. And pox, there was a detection back on February 22nd. And February... And back in January 21st, there was also a detection. No recent detections of hepatitis A. Let's see, when was these uh, detections now? We have to go all the way back into February to see a detection of hepatitis at this time. All right, continuing on, let's go out now to further to the west. Actually, first, let's make a stop in Florida. What is going on in the Clearwater area, St. Petersburg, Florida? I am curious to see what's going on there. Let's see. High levels of COVID still, but you can see they're not really rising. They've leveled at this time. RSV has seen a slight rise. Influenza A is dropping at this time. Influenza B is dropping slightly. Norovirus, not much, just an ever so slight increase in that. And Mpox, you have to go back to February 22nd. And Hepatitis A, no recent detections except for February 25th. Continuing on now. Let's go to the west a little bit now. How about we take a stop here in New Orleans and see what is going on there. And in New Orleans, we do note that COVID, again, it's listed as high, but it is dropping at this time. RSV is low at this time. No issues with that. Influenza A is rising ever so slightly. Influenza B has been seen a bit more of a significant rise in this area, and norovirus is seeing a slight rise at this time. Hepatitis A have been a, just a couple of detections, none of them which are recent, and the most recent detections of Mpox is back on February 22nd. I think there could be that issue where the majority of the sites are just randomly showing detections of Mpox for no reason. All right, let's go to the state of Kansas, and this is... Kansas City, Kansas, member, just Kansas City, Kansas, and Kansas City, Missouri. We're on the Kansas side, and we can see here that the uh, levels here for COVID are medium. They're actually, take a look at this, that's actually quite low at this time. RSV, not much of an issue. Influenza A, not much of an issue. Influenza B has been rising ever so slightly, as has norovirus at this time. We take a look at Mpox, and we can see here for Mpox, there is... Most recent detection on February 22nd. Again, that could be part of a glitch, so we don't know if that is actually correct or not. And hepatitis A, you have to go back to February 25th. All right, let's continue our way out to the west. Let's make a stop in Colorado, shall we? And let's see what's going on just southeast of the Denver area in the Parker, Colorado. North Parker, Colorado. Medium levels of COVID. RSV is high at this time. Influenza A. Starting to see somewhat of a rise. Influenza B is dropping at this time. Mpox, there's that issue again. And hepatitis A, you know what? That could be having the same issue as well. Continuing on here, let's go out to California and take a look at what's going on up in 
closer to Central California, like the Bay Area. Let's take a look at what is going on in Oakland, California. No, that's not Oakland. We want to click on Oakland. Here we go, City of Oakland, and we'll see what's going on there. And in Oakland, we do see low levels of COVID, low levels of RSV, influenza A, saying high, but quite frankly, it does not look all that high, and neither does influenza B at this time. And pox, that same issue is going on as with hepatitis A. But when we take a look at hepatitis A, there are a few more detections of it back in February. So maybe that is legitimate there. Alrighty, folks, I think that's going to about do it for today's pandemic update. Hope you enjoyed a tour of wastewater sites around the country. We'll have another pandemic update. I don't know if it'll be tomorrow or again on Tuesday, but stay tuned for that. Like I've told you recently, we're not going to be doing daily updates anymore, but we're going to be doing updates several times uh, throughout the week, especially when we find data. If we're finding data and news to report on, it's going to be a day of a pandemic update, unless it's a day where I'm too busy to do an update. If you enjoyed this update, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, subscribe to my channel down below. And of course, share this with anyone you know. If you're celebrating St. Patrick's Day today, please do so safely. Stay safe out there. If you have to drive tonight, yeah, be safe with that as well, because there could likely be some people out there driving under the influence. Not a good thing, but it is something that still happens. Alrighty, folks, I'll see you all again next time. Until I see you again next time, stay safe, everyone, and have a fantastic Sunday afternoon. Thanks for watching.